What's good YouTube, Akil here back with another video and today I'm going to be hitting up Ross, I'm going to go to some thrift stores and I'm also going to be hitting up Burlington again because lately Burlington has been coming through with a lot of heat. So if you guys are interested in these type of videos, make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and without further ado, let's get into it. Alright y'all, so we are in Ross right now and if you guys didn't know, Ross is having their annual like super clearance sale where you can get items for as low as 49 cents. I haven't seen anything good for 49 cents yet, but this Carhartt vest was only $15.00 and they're selling for just about 60 bucks right now on ebay so i'm definitely going to be picking this one up to sell that and next to that i came across this women's soccer jersey um the tag said it was for men and of course it was in the men's section but the retail tag showed that it was for women so i might be taking a chance on this one the comps weren't as strong but for only 10 bucks it might be worth the risk but sometimes with some of these jerseys in ross um they they usually always sell but sometimes they might take a while because, you know, they usually do get flooded. Uh, next to those, I came, I came across two of these MLS soccer jerseys. I've been seeing this one in Ross, these two in Ross, um, nonstop. I've been seeing them for the past few months, and they're not really selling that well. Um, even though they're only 10 bucks, I, I'm not seeing a ton of comps on those jerseys. So I end up passing on them. But drop a comment if you guys uh, have been selling those, if you guys have been picking them up, because I've been seeing them in Ross everywhere. I also like to go through the jacket section because sometimes Ross gets some good Levi's jackets. And I told you guys in the past, I was able to come up on a ton of those Alpha Industry bomber jackets. Um, over the past, you know, past season, I probably sold maybe 20 of those bomber jackets. And I was picking them up for 25 so selling them for about 70 so i'm always kind of on the hunt for, for some of the jackets that they have um this ted this ted baker blazer um i i tend to pick up ted baker if i can find it in the thrift but of course here in ross it was a little too pricey but ted baker is definitely a good brand to be on the lookout for if you can get it for a good deal but like i said some of these levi jackets like this rust color one um I'm going to pass on that because I've been seeing those in a ton of different Rosses. Now, this is another jacket that I might have to take a chance on. This is just like an Adidas Essentials bomber jacket. Nothing too crazy about that. That might sell for 60 bucks, but I mean, it might not sell at all. So we'll have to do some more research on that one. Okay, so now I'm in a different Ross location and I came across a bunch of these different Detroit hockey jerseys. And in the past, I would only pick up jerseys that had a player's name on the back. But not too long ago, I picked up some LA Kings jerseys for like 15 bucks, and those sold for about 100 So from now on, I'm always going to pay closer attention to hockey jerseys, and they had three of those, so I grabbed up all three. Uh, I'm definitely going to be paying close attention to shorts right now as well, because even though it's winter time, now is the time to kind of get, you know, out of season stuff. So if I can come across some dope shorts, I'll definitely pick them up now and wait until the spring and summer get here. But I haven't seen anything that was really worth grabbing up yet. But definitely check out the Ross uh, short section because they really have some dope ones in there sometimes. Uh, here was this really nice Polo Ralph Lauren jacket. Uh, this one, the retail tag was really expensive, and I've seen other sellers have it listed for like 110, but I just I haven't seen any sales, so I don't know if if 50 bucks would be worth it to pick up that jacket and only sell it for 100. I mean, if it even sells for 100, so I, I just ended up putting that one back. Uh, next to that, I came across this, uh, you know, like this soccer jersey. It was just a like a Nike blank one, almost like a practice jersey. But um, I actually thought it was a team jersey, but because it wasn't, I just put it back. Now, this one, I thought I came across a really dope pair of New Balances. But this one, that pair in particular just wasn't selling for much. They were selling for like 30 bucks if you was lucky. So just had to put those back. But um, they had a ton of, you know, Don Issue. I think these are the Don Issue 2s, but they had a ton of those in that store. But it wasn't worth it for me to pick those up. Now, I know right now Nike SB is really, really popular, but just not this pair, just not these Bruins. I don't know what it is. They look very similar to Blazers, but, you know, people aren't necessarily picking those up. But if you can find some SB Dunks, definitely grab those up. Now, uh, next to that, I came across some Crocs. Um, a bunch of people asked me if I sell Crocs, and I've, I usually don't, but I'm starting to pay closer attention to it because I'm seeing that, you know, they're starting to trend a little bit. And people are just wearing them very casually now. So if you can come across them for a good price, sometimes they sell for like 40, sometimes 50 bucks. But, you know, those those just weren't the ones to pick up. So now I'm in the thrift store and I'm in the jersey section and I came across a few. But um, 
you know, the, Sam Bradford, I don't think he plays for the Rams anymore. So I had to put that one back because the comps were really, really weak. Um, this jersey, uh, the Miami Dolphins one, no, the Miami Mariners, this jersey just looked really suspicious to me. I don't know. Something was off. It was missing the tag on the inside. Um, it was only $5.99, which wasn't a bad price. But that the, some of the stitching on the back just looked off to me. And that six was was clearly crooked. So I definitely didn't want to take any chances on that. But overall, when I see jerseys with a bunch of snags, I usually wouldn't pick it up anyway. So even though it looked kind of sus, I just wasn't going to pick it up because the overall condition wasn't there. Uh, very similar to this Brady jersey. Of course, Brady's the gold and, you know, super popular. But at the end of the day, this jersey had some flaws and um, some tears on the actual logo. So I wasn't able to get those on camera, but I, I actually brought it all the way to the register with me. And once I realized that, you know, some of the logos were peeling off, I just left it at the register because no need to spend money on stuff with a bunch of flaws on it. Now, these were two really dope trucker hats, um, National Rifle Association. I'm pretty sure somebody would, you know, want to collect these or maybe, you know, members might want to wear that. So definitely going to be scooping those up. Only $2. Um, now, this is the type of stuff that I love finding in thrift stores. This is an Apple uh, a Apple router, and it was only 10 bucks for this one. Uh, missing the power cord, but it is what it is. I'm pretty sure I can either, um, I either have one laying around in the house or I'll eventually find one in the thrift store. So for 10 bucks, I'll definitely be scooping that one up. And this is more of like a heavy-duty battery for, you know, chargers and drills and not chargers, but it's a charger and a battery for drills and just other, you know, heavy duty equipment. So definitely going to be scooping that up. Now, this was a crazy pair of Reeboks, crazy pair. And kind of like, as of right now, Reebok is, I think Reebok is going to get somewhat of a resurgence because as you guys know, uh, Master P and Baron Davis are interested in purchasing it. So I'm pretty sure people are going to be, you know, gravitating towards Reebok a little more. And it's definitely a brand with a lot of clout. So now I'm going to be taking a chance on those, even though they look kind of crazy. The comps on those are kind of strong. So I'm going to take a chance on that. Now, shout out to the P. Uh, I forgot the dude's name. I'm going to put that comment up here really quickly. But um, shout out to him. He actually let me know that Red Wing boots were in um, Burlington. So I went to Burlington, saw some of these Red Wings, and I definitely had to grab these up. Um, they had two pairs in this location, so I definitely got lucky with that. And they might sit for a while because, you know, there's a ton of these listed, but it is what it is. So now I'm in the clothing section, and the clothing section in Burlington lately has not been that good for me. You know, drop a comment if you guys have been finding anything good. But they had some of these Adidas bomber jackets. Um, the black ones were 25 This green one was only 20 um, but they were selling the comps on these were kind of tough. I seen some sell for about 30, then I seen some sell for like 60. But you know, I just I just didn't even feel the need to take the chance on those. But personally, I would rock them, but the comps are a little too tricky for me to take a chance on any of those. All right, y'all, so we are back in the crib. So let's just start off with some of the thrift store finds that I have here. Here is a battery and a charger, and I always try to gravitate towards some of these type of stuff. Um, this is more for, I think this is actually for a drill. And after checking the comps on these, these were selling for right around 50 to 60 bucks. Just the battery alone sells for about $50. And the best part about it is that it actually came fully charged. All I had to do was just press the red button to make sure that it was working and I was all good to go. So this is one of those types of stuff that I always try to gravitate towards I might sell both of them together or I might sell it separately just depends on how the comps are looking for the actual charger itself but like I said the battery alone sells for 50 bucks and this only cost me eight dollars so I should definitely be seeing a good amount of profit with this next up we got this Apple router and it unfortunately it didn't come with the actual power cord but it is what it is I'm pretty sure I'll be able to come across uh, the power cord that comes with this or I might be able to just find a replacement cord laying around the house somewhere but these also sell for just around 50 to 60 bucks I even seen some that sold for a lot more if it included the box but of course I don't have the box right now so I'm gonna have to wait a little while until I come across the power cord with this because I have to check in the comps people sold this without the power cord but they were only selling for like 
30 to 40 bucks so for me i'm definitely going to wait until i actually come across the power cord and i'll just be able to get an extra 20 to 30 bucks on this so i'm just going to wait until i get that but like i said if you guys can come across um just about anything apple related you can usually flip it for some decent profit and this one was 10 bucks so i should definitely be able to make some good money on this one as well and last but not least in terms of the thrift store find we got two of these uh trucker hats and they both have that nra patch on the front and they have a really dope little emblem on the cap brim as well so these were only two dollars and after checking comps i was seeing that these were selling for anywhere between like 15 to 20 bucks i might sell both of them together because i seen someone else sold both together for like 25 bucks so i might go ahead and do that as well but both of these caps are really dope in my opinion and i'm pretty sure somebody would really want to just scoop these up and these were also made in the usa and i'm pretty sure these are dead stock i don't think these are ever worn so i should definitely be able to grab some good profit for these especially since there was only two dollars a piece so moving right along to some of the Burlington finds, I was able to pick up some really good shoes. Um, I never seen this pair of Reeboks before. That's why I put it in the thumbnail like what are those because I had no clue what these were. And I was actually surprised that they were Reebok. It actually had a really small little subtle Reebok logo over here. And as I was saying in the video, as you guys know, Master P is trying to buy Reebok. So definitely shout out to him. I definitely got a lot of respect for Master P and all of his business ventures. But if he does buy Reebok, hopefully it could turn the brand around because there are a lot of classic out there that Reebok has under like their flagship names like you know Iverson they got the shacks they got they got a lot a lot of kicks they got a lot of pumps out as well so I know Reebok can definitely turn around and who knows this may be one of the first models that they're trying to you know uh, turn the whole Reebok brand around with but at the end of the day I picked these up for $35 and they're selling for right around $100 on eBay right now not a ton of souls but everyone else has these listed pretty high as well so that's always a good sign so I'm gonna list these for at least a hundred bucks and as usual when you sell athletic shoes on eBay you don't pay any fees next up from Burlington was this pair of Red Wing boots and these I believe these were steel toe boots and these were 60 bucks and the comps were really strong on these I seen some sell for like 120 to as high as about 150 and 160 so it might be a waiting game on these because i've seen a few other people were picking these up as well and thankfully i was able to grab up three pairs i believe i got a nine and a half a ten and a half and also an 11 so got some really good sizes in these so they might not sit for that long but it is what it is red wing is a really solid brand and anytime i come across them even in the thrift stores even if i have to pay up a little more i'm always willing to grab these boots up so these should definitely be selling for some good profit. All right, y'all, that's all I got for today's video. So if you guys enjoyed that one, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to use code consistency10 for 10% off your order on these consistency tees. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.